Hi kids, in today's video, we are going to start with a very important and basic concept of English, which is spelling rules. So let's start. Did you know we can avoid many spelling errors if we keep some simple spelling rules in mind? So let's start looking at five of them. So kids, as we started this unit, we come to know that there are basic five rules related to spellings. First one is EI or IE rule. What happens is when we spell some words, they are so mis they are so confused in their spellings that we get nervous whether to write I E or E I in spelling. For example, writing receive gets confused when we have to spell it. Either it is R E C I E V E or R E C E I V E. Same goes with the word believe. So, this spelling rule, if you learn, it says always put I before E, but not after C. So, we in any of the word, we have to use I before E. But, if the, if the word contains C, so E comes first and then I. For example, peace, believe, chief. You should always follow the rules except in the case of signs. There and either. Let's move to the next rule. This is the compound word rule. So kids, if you remember and if you notice, there are certain words that are combined together and there are two different words to make one. Compound words are when two words come together to form a new word. So we need to use the full spelling of both words without putting a dash in between, such as cupcake, fireplace, fireworks. So these all are compound words and they are combined together to make a new word and we do not use hyphen or dash in between. Let's move to the next page to and look at the rule number three. Rule number three says the S or ES or IES rules. This spelling rule is really basic, but is, but at the same time it is also important because it is used in the present tenses. If you want to describe a quantity that is more than one, add S to most of the nouns. For example, cats. Add ES if words end in CH, SH, X. S or Z. So we need to learn this basic rule that whenever we have to show the plural or the more more quantity of nouns, we need to add S at the end of the word, such as cats. But if the word ends on any of this elements, such as CH, SH, X, S or Z. What we are supposed to do is we are supposed to add ES at the end of the word, such as dish, dishes, baby, babies. However, we need to remove Y to make it plural and to add I instead of Y. The second rule is the V rule. When words end in F, turn them into plural. Next we have the V rule. When words N and F, turn them into plural by changing the F to V and adding an ES after it. For example, kids, uh, such words as thief, chief, leaf. So when, when such words ends at the alphabet F, life, wife, knife. So what we need to do is when we have to convert them into their plurals, we need to remove S and use V instead of F. And then we have to add ES. Such as you can see thief, pluralist, thieves. F has been changed into V and ES has been added. Then rule number five, the possessive rule. We need to add an apostrophe to show something belongs to someone. 
For example, bear, bears, ali, alis. If words already end in s, then you add an apostrophe after the s. For example, kittens, kittens, students, students. So this is a very basic rule of adding apostrophe to show the possessive, uh, to, sh to show the possession or ownership of something. When it's a singular one, you need to use uh, apostrophe and then s, but when the word ends in s, you need to add apostrophe after the s. I hope you have understood all these five basic rules of a spelling. Let's move to the next page. Now we have some exercises over here, kids. Let's read what the exercise says. Each of these sentences contains a spelling error. Underline the error and write the correct version of the sentence below. My favorite subject is science. Look at the spelling here, kids. So we need to highlight it. First, the error. The spelling of science is incorrect. The correct one is science. Nabil and his brother went to their house. Similarly here, the spelling is mistake. The correct spelling is there. The leaves are falling on the ground. Remember the F rule? Here we are supposed to convert the F into V. It was cold, so I sat by the fireplace. Fireplace should be written in one. It's a compound word. Then, my mother washed the dishes. Here, spelling rule of SH, so it means we have to add ES. In it as well. In the summer, I visited my grandmother's house. Here, apostrophe rule has to be applied, and then we are going to write apostrophe and then S. So, I hope kids, you have understood and enjoyed this video. I'll be back with some more. Till then, take care of yourselves. Bye.